What's up y'all, this is Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys how to add a desktop environment to Ubuntu Server 20.04. So I've received a couple comments asking, how do I install a desktop environment on Ubuntu server? So I figured I would create a video just showing you guys the easiest way to accomplish this. By default, Ubuntu server does not include a GUI and it runs a whole lot better like this because when you have a GUI, uh, it takes up system resources like memory processing, you know, that could be used for other server oriented tasks. But there are cases where you may need a GUI. So I wanna go through and show you guys how to set it up. So let's get started. Okay, cool. So today I'll be doing a demonstration on Ubuntu 20.04, server installed in VirtualBox. But this will work just the same on hardware if you have Ubuntu installed on hardware. And this will also work on 18.04. I haven't tested it on 16.04, but I'm pretty sure you can do the this same process on 16.04. Just wanted to let you guys know that it can work on those three LTSs. Okay, so let's hop right into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is log into the virtual machine. So type in my password, boom. And the first thing you wanna do is actually update the system. And I'm gonna show you guys a little trick right fast that I do on my server all the time, which is basically sudo apt update. And then you can use the ampersand signs between it. And this, what this does is it'll run the second command that you run after this, or that you type in after you know the first command, only if that one runs successfully. So if we type uh, sudo apt upgrade, and then let's also do dash y. This is the way I update my systems. I just write one command out and press enter so I don't have to write sudo apt update. And then after that finishes, run sudo apt upgrade, which we can do all from one command. So let's press enter here and just, oh, and before I press enter, uh, the dash Y, that's basically going to specify specify Y for any of the prompts. So you know how it, it says, are you sure you wanna install these updates? Uh, it'll automatically put the Y there for you. So that's what that dash Y is for. So whenever prompts pop up, it'll put yes in there. I just press enter, type in our password. And this will basically check and see if we need updates. If it doesn't need updates, it won't go on to the second command. So we are good to go. The system is, is good. It doesn't require any updates. It's just, this is saying that there are packages that can be removed. So you can run that command later on. That's not gonna stop us from uh, moving forward with the process. Okay, so it's an application that we need to actually install a desktop environment. And this this makes the whole process easier. And it's uh, the application is called Task Select or SEL. So let me type that in. Let's install that right fast. So sudo apt install and task select and press enter. And this and that's why I put in the title that this will make the process of installing the desktop environment very simple and easy because of this command. And I'll show you once we, we actually run that actual application, once it installs. Okay, and that was a quick install, but the next thing we wanna do is install a desktop manager. And the easiest one I like to use is LightDM. It's very lightweight, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and install that now as well. And sorry about that, but I'm pressing up arrow. That'll bring us through our history. And let's type in light DM and install light DM. Now this might take a while. So I'm gonna put on some music and just go through this whole little process. I'm gonna speed it up. So be back in a second. And basically all you need to do is select light in DM here. Uh, so you can just highlight it uh, and press enter. 
and that will continue on with the process of installing Lightium. Okay, cool. So that was short for you guys, but long for me. Uh, but I'm going to go on roll right into the next step. But let me explain what the desktop manager is. Uh, for those who don't know, this is the screen that pops up uh, where you log into the system. And the display manager controls the desktop environments that you want to log into. So uh, if you have multiple desktop environments installed on the system, then you can select from the display manager uh, what desktop environment you want to log into, whether it's GNOME, XFCE, you know, all that good stuff. So uh, let's go on and get right into installing a desktop environment. And I want to show you guys that right fast by using the program that we installed, the task select. So we have to type sudo task select and press enter, type in my password. And this is what I mean by it making the install of a desktop environment very simple uh, because it pops up with something you can just it's almost like a GUI, but for the command line. So uh, but it has at the top, it has all these live CDs. So just ignore that. You don't need that. Um, but they also have other software you can install from here. So. Uh, it's a good program to install anyway. It'll simply install. It's somewhat of a GUI for installing applications on your server. So if you want to just install this uh, without a desktop environment, if you want to 
you know, just kind of install certain things. This will install it for you. It'll go through and install and configure everything for you. So, and I misspoke, you got to configure it yourself. You know, like if you set up a DNS server, a LAMP stack, so you can install everything from here. But what we want to do is focus in on the desktop environment. And you guys know that I like XFCE. So I'm going to install the XFCE version of Ubuntu. So Zubuntu. But uh, they also have the other ones on here. So this is GNOME. So if you click Ubuntu desktop, that's uh, the GNOME desktop. And then they also have Mate. They have Kubuntu, Lubuntu. Um, and ignore the ones that have uh, the asterisk on there that mean that it's already installed on the system so it already it's already installed so it's not going to install it again obviously it's just basically letting you know that it's already installed on the system but like i stated i want to go down and use you install zubuntu you know which is at the bottom because it's x so the way you select it is just by hitting the space bar and that'll put the asterisk next to it and I'm not sure if I said this, but they do have the Mate version of Ubuntu. So if you want to do that, you know, you could try that out as well. Um, but you can install multiple desktop environments on here. So just so you know, you could do both of them. You could do Zubuntu, you could do uh, Ubuntu Mate desktop, and then your display manager will give you the option to select what desktop environment you want to install. So now that we have Zubuntu selected, uh, all you have to do is hit the tab button. So just hit tab. That'll take you over to the OK and you just press enter there and it'll go through the install. So I'm going to put on some more music, uh, mute up as well and uh, let you guys watch what's going on and I'll come back when it's done.
all right cool that was another long one for me but pretty short for you guys i go hope you guys enjoyed the music but uh that's pretty much it with the process once you do those two things all you have to do is reboot the system which i'm finna do now so that's sudo uh reboot and let me show you the desktop coming up once it reboots and you don't have to do any configuration like like in arch you know how you have to change configuration files sometimes or certain certain distros you got to go in and add configs or whatever to start uh the desktop manager you know enabling it and all that as well as the desktop environment you have to uh kind of configure it if you want to uh but this will allow it to all come up so as soon as the system finish booting up it'll uh will be greeted with the display manager so just wait a couple more seconds yeah and it'll pop up with the terminal but it'll uh it normally does that like the first time sometimes it'll pop up with the terminal like it wants you to log in but then the uh display manager will pop up uh after a couple of seconds so just wait but here we go this is light dm so if you had like a different desktop environment you know it'll It'll give you a drop down for changing it. But let's go on log into it. And now we are good. We have a full uh, desktop environment on top of Ubuntu server 20.04. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I hope this helps someone if they want to install a desktop environment on a ubuntu server that they have out there that they having issues with uh and a gui will help them fix those issues uh so if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techie